So question here from Jean, uh, thinking about getting on YouTube feels like it might be a good place to reach people and for SEO for sure. Yeah, uh, the easiest way to SEO to get on the first, you know, to get on the first page of Google. That's what SEO basically means. That's what people mean. Um, of course, there's a lot there. I have a whole class on SEO, but basically when, when your potential clients or potential audience members search you on Google, what do you want them to find you for? Um, the easiest way to get on the first page of Google is by making lots of YouTube videos. That's it, really, honestly. <laughs> You can get into all the technicalities of, of SEO with, there's a lot of technical SEO stuff. And if you really want to do SEO right, you have to do some of the technical SEO stuff. Um, but who has time for that? <laughs> yes, the SEO experts have time for that. Uh, who has patience for that? Few of us here have patience for SEO work, honestly. So uh, more of us have patience to say, well, let me just make lots of YouTube videos because, because, because Google loves YouTube videos and we'll emphasize them you know, whenever possible. Um, so I, I, let me see if this works. I mean, I'm gonna search Energy Reboot. You could try this too. Um, there it is. Okay. Well, I, I'm already kind of known, I guess, by, by Google for, for Energy Reboot. You could try that on Google and tell me if you see me here. But look at this. Before my website was at the top of Google for Energy Reboot, my YouTube videos were there. Like I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do any clever SEO tricks, nothing. All I did, the only clever thing I did was to name the video, the keyword that I want to be found for. Now, of course, if you're using a keyword that lots and lots and lots and lots of other people are using in the YouTube title, then it's a little bit harder, but not only did I name the keyword, I also shared the video in lots of different places. And then people started to, uh, share the video with their friends, and then it easy and, and then before long, honestly, it went. I got into the top of you, top of Google for Energy Reboot, and not only that, I didn't put any key moments. YouTube is so smart with their algorithm, with the understanding language that they're saying, okay, based on what we understand about language, we see there are three moments in this video that you might want to check out. And if you click here, it goes to right that point in the video. So if I click here, breathe in love. It goes right to my part where I says, breathe in love. Mate, is that amazing? And I didn't do that. <laughs> there are, yes, you can put YouTube chapters by putting timestamps in the description. I don't know if you knew that. You could put timestamps like 0, 0.00 intro, um, 2.30 breathe in love or whatever, or 4.47 breathe in love. You could do that in the, and then it'll automatically create chapters in, in your YouTube video. But I didn't do that. YouTube is smart enough to know. Four key, and then, and then look, even a video from 2019, three years ago, is near the top of Google because Google loves YouTube, loves it so much because Google owns YouTube, <laughs> Technic, right? And then here, Energy Reboot, again, four key moments. I didn't put those there. You know, I didn't put those there, but YouTube did. Eight key moments. Look at this. This is another one. This is my short version of Energy Reboot. And look at those. So there you go, Gene. Uh, the easiest way to, to SEO um, is to just, and, and you might say, well, George, how do I go about creating a YouTube channel and all that stuff? Do you have a course on that? I'm glad you asked. Uh, I will be creating a whole course about creating a YouTube channel, optimizing it, uh, using it, using YouTube well, et cetera. I have something like 15,000 subscribers on YouTube now. So I, I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I will be uh, teaching a whole course on that later in the year. Thanks. And for those who are still um, wanting to be more, uh, well, if you're hesitant about making videos and you're wanting some practice before you go into the suddenly go into the limelight with Google SEO. By the way, I'm not saying that, obviously, wouldn't it be nice if every video we made or, or even one out of every 10 videos we made, well, oh, first page of Google, it doesn't work like that. I mean, your video has to have some reach meaning you you have to first do the reach yourself share it with a bunch of as many people as you can all the and then if some people start to share it then google starts to notice go wait a second this is this is not just being shared by the creator themselves that helps it's shared by some other people too now google says well hey this is probably important for this keyword so it's not it's not but if you're still 
concern about being public too quickly, I would recommend making YouTube unlisted videos first. Make, make your videos unlisted and then just share them with friends privately and then to kind of like get some encouragement that you're good on video because you probably are. And then, um, you know, then you can make it public. You can make that video public at some point. So you can change the privacy of a video anytime. Yeah.